We want to welcome back here to the park at Gobodge Land, which is thriving with over 1,100 guests currently. Things are going very, very well for the park. We're going to increase the price a smidge. But uh, again, thank you so much for the love and support for the series. It's, uh, again, I know this is a little bit of an older game, but I, I just love the aesthetic of Parkitect. I think it does have more complexities than most people think, while the building and stuff is a much more simplified um, type of build compared to what you see with, of course, Planet Coaster, which again, I do have some thoughts. I may do Planet Coaster. Would y'all be interested as I gotta go right now in the comments? Would you all be interested with me starting a Planet Coaster series leading up to Planet Coaster 2? Would you want to see that here on the channel? Let me know in the comment section down below because again, I'm not opposed to playing it, but um, I don't want to necessarily do two of the same type of game at the same time, but I have no qualms doing it because there's so much fun to play. Because again, in the last episode we did add this new wing over here as we added on some bumper cars. Uh, we're going to keep an eye, see how that continues to grow. It seems that it's just not super busy over there on that ride. The space race is doing quite well for us right here. We have our second coaster, the wing coaster, which we will rename today. And thanks to one of our subscribers down here in the comment section, commented below, it was Dan the Gamer. Manta was a title that you thought would be a lot of fun. And I agree, I think Manta sounds like a nice, a nice ride, especially with the kind of blue aesthetic we have going on. And we have this toppling sand tower over here. It's doing quite well. Now, we are thinking thinking about themes for this next area of the park we're going towards. Again, we kind of have like a western type thing going on right here a little bit. Uh, vandals are back. No. Why? Why are vandals back in my park? Now, I should... Let me check at this. I should have plenty of security guards for each zone. Again, this zone is zone 4, which is a bigger zone now. How many did I have in a zone 4? Two. I have two in zone four. One and five, two and five. Six has one. Three has two and four has two. So I think we have enough guards to cover this park. As you look around, I think we have a good amount of coverage there. I may... Hmm. I may add another... I'm just trying to see what's going on may not hurt us to have another person over here in zone four for a uh for a mechanic not a hauler i didn't want to holler my bad <laughs> i meant to hire a mechanic and put him over here uh in zone four because again we're gonna have more rides over here going i think it's a good idea to make sure we have lots of workers so again we got to keep an eye on that vandalism. Hopefully it gets sort it gets itself sorted out. Oh man, look how much traffic there's coming. But there's so many people at this park and it continues to grow. But I think something I am planning on doing as we are growing out this way a little bit more and out here is some water rides, which we have a lack thereof. We have a lack thereof water rides. Now we are entering in November, so it's going to get chillier. So I don't think water rides necessarily are going to be the most popular thing. But again, it's something to we need to consider, obviously. But transport rides are a fun thing to see. I may start to get a monorail to help as this park does grow further. Right now, I think we're okay. But I do think a water ride or two would be a nice thing to add in. So let's look at a boat dark ride. And let's get one that kind of fits what we're looking at here. So again, we have kind of this desert theme almost a little bit over here. Something like this may work beautifully. It's okay. It's actually a little alpine, so I don't know if I love that. Uh, River Rush, what does that look like? That's a little bit more... A little bit better adventure on the Nile kind of works with this. Hmm. I don't mind that at all, actually. Comes out a little bit here. I need this to get out of my way. Uh, and it can, we can actually have it overlap a little bit with this ride slightly. 
have the queue come out. I'm trying to make put this where it kind of makes sense. Something like that, I think is okay. So there's your entrance exit. I like the aesthetic of that ride. I really actually do like that quite a bit. Um, let's go ahead and build this out here. And we'll delete a few of these things. Build that out there. And as always, let's get our fencing and everything situated. This shouldn't be too long of a build, so I'm not going to time lapse it. But again, we're going to get this ride opened up immediately. Let's go ahead and get that opened up. We're going to charge $6 out the chute with this. Uh, it's called Boat Dark Rides. We're going to call it something different, I think. And something I will start doing, I think, is naming more rides. But I'm going to call this... Um... Uh, man, I, I'm, I can't think. Night at, uh, I, I don't know. I can't think of anything to call it. So let me know what you think would be a fun name for a dark ride. I was thinking of Night of the Museum a little bit, to be honest with you. That's what kind of was popping up my brain. I couldn't remember the main, the, uh, the mummy's name. Rami Malek's character's name, if y'all remember. From Night of the Museum 1. <laughs> I can't remember the character, the, the, the name of the character, though. I thought that may be a fun type of like name, like something that's themed with that. But let's get these lights up and then we'll get a few other things situated here. What are people saying? Why are people not wanting to go on this? Is there an issue? Better not be an issue, but it may be too expensive. That could potentially be it. Let me see. What, what, what's, what's, they want to go on it. So we got one person in the queue waiting to go. That's a nice little ride. I like that quite a lot. And I like the theming, too, of this kind of, like, western, and then now it moves into this, like, the Aztec, like, Egyptian temple kind of situation. I think it looks pretty neat. And let's get these benches over here. And then we'll also move a few of these trees around. Almost a little haphazardly, but you know, I think it still looks fine and dandy. Looks neat. All right, um, that's not too bad. So we have that ride opened up over here for the water ride. I want another water ride coming in. And again, I did say I wanted to start another food court of some sort over here. Something of that nature. Now, the only issue with food courts that drive me crazy is trying to connect the underground pathway. How many vandals do we have? We have seven vandals. What is going on? Okay, hold on. Let's look. I'm going to get this about to be horrible. Let's see. Vandalism. Let's look at the chart. How much red do I see? I see one, two, broken lamppost there, broken thing there. That's not the end of the world. It's not great either, but it's not the end of the world. I can live with some of that. I can live with some of that. Uh, are people getting on this ride? Slowly. Gonna cost six bucks. It's just a matter of getting people out there. Um, zoning wise, I'm going to keep this in zone seven for the time being. I'm going to keep this zone seven for the time being. But I will at some point probably create a new zone. So zone seven is just not stupid big. Because right now zone seven, or zone four, excuse me, is quite large. It's, it's, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, six. Mm, oh, seven rides, I guess, technically, with that Ferris wheel in there as well. So we gotta be we gotta be mindful of that. We don't want it to be just like a egregious amount of rides. Now, water rides. Let's get another one here. Calm River ride, a log flume ride, rap, rapid rivers. Oh boy, so many good choices here. I like the idea of the log flume. I, I think it's a classic. Oh, uh, 
let's see what would be a fun one to do here john's lumber mill long flume log flume black mountain abandoned mine that's neat that's not bad uh what other ones do we have here so for the rapid river you have the joy of rafting nile so we got another kind of similar aesthetic to this you see how it looks it's very similar actually in aesthetics that may be too on the nose though that may be too similar uh, i kind of like to have a little more variety than that um calm one there's quite a few decent choices here man i don't know i want another water ride but i also don't want to do something just like egregiously stupid uh, let's look at a terrain what i may do is right here this terrain just like make it drop down which may be a terrible idea i don't know to be honest with you because you're going to see that right there right but if we can cover that with water let's see oh my gosh that's way too much water there if i can cover just uh that's that's a, that's gonna cause issues okay let's just go back to this terrain let's raise it back up so it looks better Looks horrible. I'm okay with a little elevation, though, to be honest. Okay. I think we almost fixed this. Okay. Whew. All right, we fixed that. But now I still would like to have another, like, a bumper boats. I still would, I, I think a log flume just would be huge for us. Big splash. Very high excitement on that. What? That may be huge for us. Very high excitement on this one, too. How's that one look? Trying to get a good look at this. It's a, that's a little westerny. I can deal with that. I can deal with a ride like that and kind of fit it in here. Like this. I can have it be right there in the midst of like all this stuff going on. Is that too much though? If it's like two overlapping rides, probably. It's probably a bit of an issue. But I also kind of dig it. I can build that. I'm going to look at this. I may deconstruct it, but oh, that yeah, that's a... <laughs> Uh, that's not okay. We can't do that. Demolish. No, the whole dang ride. Oh, no. That's not what I want. That's not what I want. Okay, so... That wasn't gonna work out. I still want this water ride. So I think I'm still gonna build it. But I'm gonna put it... A little elsewhere. Maybe back behind this. If it will... If I have space, that's the issue. We're running out of space for some of this. We're going to have to start really expanding. So I think it may be in our best interest to put it like back here. Where it can breathe a little bit on its own. But then we got to fill in that gap. So we're going to do it. We're going to build that there. I'm going to build out my pathing. As you would expect. Okay, we got our pathing here. Let's go ahead and build this out. And that will connect just so. Just like that. So that's going to be just fine for us. 
Uh, let's get back to this so I can get rid of that little elevation right there. All right, that's good. Um, so we'll have that right here. I'm going to go ahead and open this. Card 650. I'm going to say it is technically part of zone four for the time being. Oh, no, nope, not zone eight. I want to delete zone eight. Zone seven or whatever. Have that still grow. Let's go ahead and get our thing situated here. Not what I wanted to do. Oh my gosh, I'm deleting everything. My bad. Hey, y'all come on through. Come on down. Y'all can have this fence. Our clutch wooden fence. Get that built out. We'll have a couple water water rides now. So I, I'm kind of leaning in on this like Western slash Aztec feel, which is two completely meshing things. But I kind of like the like historical world historical uh, kind of situation you're looking at there, because you're looking at like American Western history mixed with like Middle East and European, Egyptian you know kind of stuff going on over there. I think it's really interesting. I think it's actually kind of kind of nice. So we'll keep that keep that going. Now you're trying to go somewhere you shouldn't go right there. You go in here. And then when you're done with the ride, it spits you out over here. Ooh, that's interesting. So here is where we can I think we can try to do an underground path. So let's go down. This is what I want to try to do. I want to try to connect it right through these right here. I have plans. We can make it work. These plans will be awesome. So we're going to try to have that connect. Actually, you need to back it up. Make sure it's... Oh, not that. Mm, nope. Get this where I want it to be. Okay. back that up All right, I want to make sure we are situated properly where this is directly across here something like that I'm trying to see is that going to line up properly yes so we're going to have it go uh, straight for a minute until it's not. And then it's going to go underground. Yeah, buddy. And then it's going to start to go up. And then you're going to spit out right there. That's going to connect those two ways right there. And I think that's awesome. So now we have that connection. People, when they get off the ride... We'll have to go all the way around over there now. Um, now, if I want them to also be able to come back this way, I can technically do that by just having this cross pattern here. And that will allow them to do so. And it will also allow people to have another way to get to that part of the park. Right? So yes, there's going to be a little more foot traffic coming through there. But I do think it's going to help with some of the stuff we're trying to do. Now let me go ahead and get some bins situated over here, because that may become a part of an issue of trash over here. Absolutely will become a part of that issue at some point. And we'll have another bin or two here. Let's go ahead and get couple of these out. Never can have too many benches. People need to sit down in parks, boys and girls. Children of all ages. 
You gotta have benches, you gotta have bins. Otherwise, it's a problem. Okay, so I think I'm gonna get the fencing and stuff done kind of on my own uh, off camera, not waste your time with the time lapse of it. But we have that log flume going now. We have this uh, boat dark ride going now. That's gonna both bring in some money. Gotta make sure they're both, of course, covered, which still somewhat covered here. Also gotta make sure the underground way right here is covered by our pathing. Okay, so we gotta make sure that's all accounted for. So we have that going, Enterprise just broke down. We need to check on that ride because it's had several issues. Need to make sure that's being checked every 30 minutes-ish. Maintain it, right? Gotta make sure that's staying good. Um, I think we, oh man, Mad Midway Flyers broke down too. What is going on right now? We don't, I don't need all these rides breaking down on me. It's not a good thing to see. So, that's two rides at the same time too. Gonna make it a 30 minute inspection as well. So we have two rides down now. Uh, we Now we did have, we have a two advertisements still ongoing on billboard and television. We have over 1,200 guests in the park. So let's, we've, been, we've done a lot of building construction stuff over here on this wing. And no food over here yet. That will be something I will add on over here. I just wanted to start to expand more rides and really start to branch this park out more. Pull more people out from the center to the extremities. We have these water rides here, which look nice. They seem to have people that are enjoying it. Um, this one just needs people to move out there. It's just gonna, it's gonna be a matter of getting traffic expanded out, right? That's the whole thing is how do we get people to come out there? I mean, surely, which area is the business busiest right now? If I'm looking overhead, still the central area here, but really this hall, this alleyway right here between the scary section, it's getting very, very busy, very busy. Matter of fact. How are our prices doing? Still doing very well. Very well. Let's check on our first co coaster over here that we built out, the Cerberus. Cerberus, 22 people in line. Raise that price up, baby. You better believe it. That's doing quite well. Um, Yeah, no complaints there on my side on that. Let's see here what people are saying. The path is disgusting. Where? Oh, yeah, there's some trash right there. That's, that's, that's not ideal. Uh, do I have somebody? Do we have a, uh, is this in a zone? It is. What zone is this? Zone 7? Where's my janitors for zone 7 at? Both over there? Well, I need to, uh, this guy needs to come over here. You need to get this taken care of, please, sir. That is uh, filthy. Janitor. Is that not your job? He's too tired for work. Great. Not what I wanted to see. Oh, we need another janitor for zone 7. That's why you're the only one. Poor dude. Yeah. No wonder you're tired. You have no help. Uh, I probably should also get another, uh, another person over here working. And you're just going to be straight up with zone 4. Like, this is your domain. Do it to your best. Okay. So it's storming. Umbrellas are out and about. We're going to, again, change the color. Make them like a lime green. And a... Uh, like an orange. I don't know. Something like that. Red. We'll do that. Did, did I, what, what's, the, what's the shortage here? Soft drinks. What's going on? We have a shortage. Noodles has a, sh a shortage. That's okay though. We need. I need people picking these stuff up, man. My hauler's tired now. Come on now. The workers are getting overworked. I guess. So. The park's in a good spot. Okay, Mantis advertising's finished up. Seventy-two percent. That did well. That did very well. We're going to go ahead and do another 
attraction advertisement. We're going to select it for the newest attraction over here, which is, of course, our log flume. We're going to do it for six, uh, let's do three month attraction. We'll put it on TV. Why not? And we're going to see how it does. Now, the park, again, still growing, doing very well. We're making good money. Um, not seeing too many issues in terms of vandalism now. Let's see, vandalism. Still a few broken things here and there. Not too bad. Trash. I see a few red spots here. That's not great. That's not great. Uh, I don't love that at all. Decorations not great in those areas either because of course the huh, the puke, the trash, things of that nature. So again, that may just be something we need to hire more workers in these areas because this is zone six or yeah, zone six right here. I thought I had a dedicated zone six there. I have two. But again, I'm just gonna I'm gonna hire two more just wanders for the time being. I'm also gonna hire another hauler to work in zone seven. We have one, two, three, four, and seven now. Two and one, two and two. Uh, I'm gonna. I don't think I actually need you in that one, so we'll put you in one. That's fine. Okay, come on, traffic. Come through here. I need people. Are people going to start flying over here in droves? I need I need to see people. People are going underneath, though. You can see it down there if you follow down. You see people coming down underneath. That's nice to see. But again, we have our nice decorations here. We have our log flume going. I like it. I like the aesthetic we have going on here. Got our water park going a little bit. Our mantis, our mantis just broke down a little bit. That's not great. I don't love that. But I do like the water rides. Let's actually get a better view this way, maybe. Just trying to get some good looks here at the park. It's a beautiful park. I will add more decoration and stuff here. Don't worry. I'm just trying to game plan to my mind right now and see what we need to do going forward. I do want to add another mega coaster, like a huge coaster, because these are pretty good traditional coasters, the Manta and, uh, of course, the Cerberus. They're not insane. But we don't have a single coaster with a loop yet, right? No, we do have one. This one has one loop, but we don't have anything that's like just nuts. Like this is a very high intensity, but I'd like to do something. And I'm very, very seriously considering us building a swinging coaster or an inverted spinning type coaster at some point and just going bonkers with it and seeing if we can do something really, really fun there. Um, but as it is right now, there's a shortage on the ride parts. Safety is going to suffer because of that. Um, again, the park is doing fine. It's doing great. Food court will definitely, if it will let me, can I blueprint? Yeah, I'm probably going to just blueprint this and do it over there. I see some other ones. I may just do one of these other ones that are made up. I don't know. We'll see. I may, I may copy and paste this one. I may do something a little bit different with some community creation ones. But again, this area of the park, it needs to grow. It needs to expand. It needs to connect in more ways. Right now, the only way you're getting to this side of the park is either coming this way or directly cutting through to the middle by the Ferris wheel over here. We do at some point want to have maybe another underground path to get us to this food court. So as we expand behind here with more coasters and flat rides, that's something we're definitely going to consider. But drop some ideas for me in the comments section for how we should expand this park as we continue to grow out further and deeper and deeper into our landscape. 
but and, and just give me your overall thoughts i really do care about what y'all think about this part because i'm having a lot of fun putting it together trying to add our own touch to it as well it's not perfect i understand but it's also just it's so much fun so much fun get the soda y'all and let's get it going but y'all that's gonna do it Thank you so much for being a part of this Park Tech journey. Stay safe. God bless to each of you. And we will catch you guys back in the next one. Y'all take it easy.